Now let's learn about the functions of mouse buttons. So when you have two buttons on the mouse, now you know it. When you press a button, it is known as click. When you press the left button, it is known as the left click. When you press the right button, it is known as the right click. Now let's learn about the functions of mouse buttons. What are the functions of these buttons? What does this button do on the mouse? The first function is clicking. When we press and release any button on the mouse, it makes a click sound. This is called clicking. So when you press the key on the mouse, I'm sorry, when you press the button of the mouse, any button, left button or the right button, and you release it, you leave it, it makes a click sound. You can hear a click sound and this process is known as clicking. So whether it is the left click or the right click, it is known as clicking. On page number 48, let's read. Let's try. So you can try this at home. If you have a computer at home, you can try it. Move the pointer and point at any object on the monitor. So by holding the mouse and moving it on the mouse pad, you can move the pointer on the screen. You move the pointer and point to an object on the screen, any icon on the screen. Press the left mouse button and release it. You press the left mouse button and then leave it, release it. The object will be selected. You will see whatever object you have pointed will be selected by the mouse. So you, This way you know that when we press the left click, after putting it, uh, putting the mouse pointer on any object on the screen, the mouse will select it. That object will be selected. The next function is the double clicking. Pressing and releasing the left mouse button twice in one go is called double clicking. When you press the left mouse button twice two times together it is called double clicking now what does this double clicking do the single click will select the object let's learn what will the double click do move the pointer to the computer icon you can see a computer icon on the monitor you put your pointer on the computer icon double click on the uh, double click on the left mouse button now you press the left mouse button twice quickly the computer window will open so what happens with the double click you can open any program so once you take your pointer to the computer icon you place it there then you press the left mouse button twice at one go two times and what will it do it will open the computer window it will open that program field or that window field this is what the double clicking means. so now you understand what is the difference between the single click and the double click the single click is used to select any program and the double click is used to open any program but you have to use the left click not the right click only the left click now let's learn about the right clicking we have learned about the left click the left single click and left double click now let's learn about the right click pressing and releasing the right mouse button will show a list of commands on the monitor now let's learn about the right clicking Pressing and releasing the right mouse button will show a list of commands on the monitor. So when on the monitor screen on the desktop, you place your pointer anywhere and you do a right click. It will open a menu like this with different commands. 
it will give you, give you different commands that you can use so there is a difference in the left click function and the right click function the right click will open up the command menu okay let's try move the mouse pointer to the computer icon and right click you will get a list of commands so when we go to the computer icon we put the pointer on this and we do a right click this command menu okay now we will learn about dragging and dropping what does dragging mean when we drag something and drop means when we pick it up from one thing and drop it somewhere else okay that is dragging and dropping this action is used to move an item from one place to another on the monitor with the help of a mouse so this is a process which can be done with the help of the mouse to move one thing from one place to another place all right let's try it out place the mouse pointer over an item on the screen so when you have the screen you put your mouse pointer anywhere on the screen let's put it on the my computer option okay the computer option so we put it on the computer option we have put a mouse mouse pointer here now what next press and hold down the left button you have to press the left button and keep it pressed don't leave it don't click it okay you just have to press it and keep it there now move the pointer to the place where you want to place the item now you have to take the left mouse pointer to the place where you want to move this so you will not leave the left click of the mouse you will keep it pressed and you will move to a new location you will move here okay release the button and you will see that the item has moved so now once you reach here then you leave the button and when then you leave the button you will see the icon from here it has moved here all right now let's learn about flipping the right button and left button of the mouse now you have to flip it that means you have to change the function of the left button with the function of the right button now why should we do this what is the need so you know you you all know that you all write with your right hand right you use your right hand most but there are some children there are some people who use their left hand to do everything right for writing for eating they use their left hand so when those people who are using their left hand they work on the computer mouse they find it very difficult to operate so to help them to operate the mouse more efficiently what we do is we flip the function of the right mouse button with the left mouse button so what happens is whatever you can do with the left click now you can do that with the right click and what all you can do with the right click now you can do it with the left click so since left click is used to select the object and open a program now you can do it with the right click and right click is used to open the menu the command menu that you can do with the left click. this dragging and dropping also you can do with the right click after flipping after flipping the buttons all right now let's learn how to do it so click on the start button you will use your mouse and you will do a left click on the start button and then you will again go to control panel and you will do a left click on control panel the control panel window will appear a window will open up 
select the mouse option so we will you will go to the window and you will open the mouse option here is the mouse option right once you go to the mouse option the mouse properties dialog box will appear so this is the dialog box the mouse properties dialog box this dialog box will appear you will see this on the computer screen all right now what you have to do is under the button configuration select the check box switch primary and secondary buttons to the to change the settings so see on this you will see the button configuration and there is a option called switch primary and secondary button you will put a tick on this you will click on this you will do a left click on this and this check sign will come here once you have done this now click on apply button and then click on okay button so here you will see an apply button first you click on apply and then you click on okay once you click on okay the existing settings of the mouse will be changed so once you do this all procedure the settings of your mouse buttons will flip will change now the functions of the left button will be done by the right button and the functions of the right button will be done by the left button so this is called flipping the right button and the left button. So children see here I have my computer screen and I have a mouse here okay and we will move the mouse pointer when i'm moving the mouse on my mouse pad do you see the pointer on the screen is also moving with the movement of the mouse when i'm moving the mouse here the pointer on the screen is also moving so this is how i use a mouse okay now when i take my pointer to any object i take it to this object and when i do a left click see i do a left click do you see the object is selected see this object is selected by the mouse pointer when i do one click now when i do a double click when i do two clicks together this will open up so when i'm using two clicks together it will open up now when i move my mouse pointer see where i move it here and it has selected the cross option i click it once and it will close now when i do a right click see this is the right click when i do a right click a menu has opened up on the screen command menu has opened up on the screen so this is the function of the right click Okay so when i move the mouse the pointer on the screen also moves when i take my mouse to a icon and i do a left click from here i do a left click it gets selected when i do the double click it opens up okay with the single click left click i can close it also When I do I take my mouse pointer here and I do a right click now this click right click it gives me a command menu to select from so this is the function of the right click and the left click all right learn about dragging and dropping for that I have placed my mouse pointer here right and using my index finger i will press the left key and i'm not leaving it and i move this icon i move my mouse on the mouse pad and when i want to drop it here suppose i want to put it here and i leave the left key it has dragged the this icon from here to 
this is how I do drag and drop. I put my cursor here. I use the left key, keep it pressed, move it, and then drop it. So this is how dragging and dropping is done by the mouse. All right.